Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Rush. And here we are in Premiere Rush, part four of our five-part basic training series. Now we've got a basic movie on our timeline, including some music underneath it. Uh, by the way, in between the clips, we can also add transitions. There's a small library of transitions and you can add transitions either by dragging them to a specific spot on your timeline between two clips, or if you select a clip on your timeline and just click on the transition, transitions are automatically added to the beginning and end of that clip. So a small library, but you can also add transitions if you'd like. But we wanna add a title to our movie. So I'm gonna position the playhead right about where I'd like my title to begin. And then uh, there's a library of titles over here on the right if I click on the T button. But if you just want to add a basic generic title, you can just go over to the plus button here on the left, click it, and select Add Title. Now this automatically creates a new track on your timeline and adds the title to it. And as you can see, it's about as basic as you can get. Let's go ahead and remove that. And once again, you notice when we remove it, our timeline snap shut here so we don't see that track anymore. It's not taking up any space. Now, when we go over to the library of titles that are under the T here in the upper right hand corner of the program, we actually have two libraries of titles. We have under your styles, we have the small library of basic titles, actually, actually pretty wide variety of titles here that are included with the program. They're right there on your computer or, or your device right along with this program. But over here under more titles is a much larger library. You can see pages, 22 pages, it says right down here in the lower right hand corner. These are titles from the Creative Cloud. And uh, this library is much, much larger. It's ever growing, ever changing. And a number of these even have animations. So it sees little hearts here. If I click to select the hearts and hover my mouse over it or move my mouse across it, you can see the animation. Same with these blocks. I can move through here and I can see the blocks open and close. Those almost could be used as a transition. Now you can grab anything from the cloud and if you drag it to your timeline, it'll just take a moment or so for it to download and install and then it will become part of the Your Styles library. But with the Your Styles, you have a number of advantages. I'm gonna just drag the basic default title down here to my timeline. There we go. And notice as I click on any other of these templates or styles that it automatically changes. Isn't that cool? So if I change my mind, I dragged a template down here and I want to try a different template, I can go through this library. This only works with your styles. It doesn't work with the ones that are up on the cloud. And say I want to grab this call out here and I want to be able to point to Jason as he's riding by. Well, let's go ahead and select that. That is the title we're going to use. It's there on my timeline. And now if I go to the edit tab here on the titles panel, I can edit the various elements. You notice we have a number of shapes here. We have the shape, the little line that comes down. We have the little dot at the end. And we, again, we can choose the color. We can modify that if we'd like. And then we've got the box itself. And up here it says, bring attention to something. That's the default text that's in this title. So if I select that, I can actually change the text. So I can have it say Jason. And then I can move the title around. Now, there's not a lot I can do. I can't animate that to follow him through the entire video. But once I click on the timeline here and I'm out of the title editor, I can actually grab that clip that's on the upper timeline, the title, and drag it into position so that it's pointing at Jason. Now, it's not going to follow him. He moves through the screen here, but for a couple of seconds anyway, it stays with him. So you can modify the position. I can change the size of it by grabbing on these corners and stretching them out. And I can, of course, add transitions to this title as easily as I could to any video clip simply by selecting it here on the timeline, going over here to the transitions panel, and then clicking on one of the transitions, say cross dissolve. And now that transition is added the beginning and end of my title. Hey, we've got a finished movie. Let's output our finished piece. We're gonna do that in part five. I'm Steve Grizzetti, hope to see you soon.